Welcome back to Alkaline TV. This is Douglas Dennis, the Alkaline Chef. Today we're making zucchini pasta with fresh tomatoes sauce. Mmm, let's get started. Doesn't that look amazing? First we're going to use one onion. This is just a medium onion. I prefer sweet onions or purple onions. Those are my two favorites. Put it in the food processor to make it easier and we're just going to dice it up and then we're going to cut our tomatoes and do the same. Now these are plum tomatoes, you can use cherry tomatoes as well. I prefer cherry actually if you have them. Now we're going to make this tomato sauce and use it later. Heat oil in a skillet. You'll want to stick with grapeseed oil or even avocado oil and add the onions. Now we're going to cook these until they start to get translucent. Already smells amazing. Mm. Now this is an optional step slow motion. Add some mushrooms. We had an overabundance of oyster mushrooms, but you could add a lot of different mushrooms to this and it would influence the taste of the dish, of course. So if you don't have any or don't like them, you can leave them out and it will still be amazing without them. And if I were to do this again, I would probably chop them in the other direction and dice those stems. Or even add them to the food processor and add them later. So you would add the onions first and then you could add the diced mushrooms. But this way was more like chicken strips. Try it out and let me know in the comments. Look at that cook. Now this will take several minutes to cook down. You want to cook the mushrooms very well. Wow, look at it go. Now the onions are starting to cook down and the juices are starting to come out of the mushrooms. All right, I think it's time to add the tomato. We're gonna add the tomato puree we just made in the food processor and start to cook this down. The quality of the ingredients really is going to determine the quality of the food. That's why we use very specific ingredients. If you want the entire list, we have a free Facebook group. Check the link in the description. Mmm, starting to get good. Look at it bubbling away. Now we're going to add some flavor. We've got a whole habanero. The reason we threw it in whole is that so it could be easily picked out. If you don't like spicy, you don't have to add it in. And then some sea salt. Some more grapeseed oil on top. And we're gonna add some oregano and also some basil. Now we used dried this time, but now we have a lot growing, so I would have used fresh for sure. And you can go heavy with the basil. Just, I have other videos about how to prune the basil if you're going to clone it or just to eat. 
and all you do now is ladle it onto the zucchini noodles which is just zucchini sent through a spiralizer nothing special there and then add it to the cast iron with some grapeseed oil on the bottom and we're just adding the sauce when it's almost done and letting it cook for the last few minutes with the noodles mm -mm, it's almost done we're adding some fresh arugula am i saying that correctly it doesn't sound like it's English. Now cook this for a couple minutes until the zucchini starts to become cooked. You don't want it to get soggy. You just want to cook the zucchini a little bit so that it is hot and al dente. Almost there. Mm -mm. A lot of flavor packed in here. Now all we are doing is serving this with some tongs. Serve it up. And there you have it. What do you think? Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified. Thank you so much again, and if you're really serious about going alkaline, so to speak, and you want to change your life completely, then check out the links in the description for more information. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next cooking video. Have an amazing day on purpose.